This is program number three for CS102 at the University of Illinois in Chicago, spring 2011. This is a version of the Square Up program, and the object of the game is to make these inner nine squares match this pattern shown over here on the right. And uh, on each move, what you can do is click on a colored square adjacent to the blank square, and it'll move that colored square into the blank spot. So if I click here, on this blue square, it moves the blue into the blank spot and so forth. So if we wanted to have a dark blue in the upper left-hand corner, for instance, uh, here I could move the dark blue up there, and then I need a yellow one in place there. I already have that. And then I needed to have a, uh, um, a dark brown square in the upper right-hand corner and so forth for the nine squares. Once all nine are in the correct position, a message comes out at the bottom saying, congratulations, um, you did it. So on each move, the move number is updated right here. So take a look at that as I click on the screen. It goes from 17 and 18, and also indicates the number of seconds that have elapsed in the game. Clicking on Redo randomizes the board as well as the position of the original blank square, like this. Every time you do it, at any point in the game, you can do it. And when you click on Redo, it also has the effect of resetting the move number as well as the number of seconds that have elapsed. elapsed. And uh, Clicking on exit, of course, takes you out of the program. The tricky part when you write this is to make sure that the goal squares are all, in fact, on the board. If you just randomize all the board squares as well as these squares, it's possible that you'll have colors here on the goal squares that, in fact, don't appear on the board. So one of the things you got to watch out for. Enjoy.